Atlanta Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Nate Larson. Good Tuesday morning. It's 612 and 45 degrees here in Pocatello. Over Teton Pass this morning, we have some snowflakes flying, so expect a slippery commute as you head over the pass this morning, as we do have snow falling at higher elevations at about 7,500 feet or higher for some elevations or some areas, especially in the southeast corner. Rain totals yesterday before midnight for Monday, we only had four hundredths of an inch in Pocatello, as well as in Driggs. The winners being Yellowstone at uh, just over two tenths of an inch there. Record breaking rainfall amounts in Stanley yesterday. In fact, their previous record was 44 hundredths. They were at 47 hundredths yesterday. Another six hundredths this morning since midnight. Three hundredths here in Pocatello and 14 hundredths in Burley. So we have some heavier precipitation falling over portions of the lower Snake River Plain this morning. We'll look at radar in just a moment. Flood, flood advisories and warnings continue. In fact, uh, the uh, Snake River up in Bingham County actually just reached flood stage yesterday. It's now declined a little bit since then. So uh, flood advisory for there. Bear Lake County, of course. And again, the Port Niff is just about a foot above flood stage again this morning. Winds aren't as bad this morning. 14 mile per hour winds reported in Pocatello 6 in Idaho Falls and 6 in much of the upper Snake River Plain. Temperature wise, we're in those mid 40s this morning, up a mid 30s for portions of the uh, western Wyoming regions and a mixture of 30s and 40s for the central mountains this morning. Stanley at 33. Now, Storm Tracker, we mentioned we've got some showers moving in, quite a bit of rain extending up and down the I 15 corridor from Pocatello all the way north up into the uh, uh, upper Snake Highlands near Island Park. We've got snow actually falling up along those higher elevations there. You can see the storm prog uh, progression moving further eastward. So we have one wave of moisture moving through this morning. Another surge of precipitation will move through this afternoon from this uh, second round of precipitation. It's a pretty good surge of moisture coming in from the uh, Pacific. In fact, Future Tracker indicating that that first wave will come through this morning. We have a little bit of a break in shower activity, at least by the noon hour. And then notice this afternoon that secondary wave of precipitation moves through. Could even see a little bit of a thunderstorm out there, some lightning strikes with this second batch that moves through this afternoon. And then we get a break as we head into Wednesday morning. So not too bad out there. 50s for highs today. 53 in Pocatello and Blackfoot, 52 in Idaho Falls, 74 cash showing 59 tomorrow with that break and shower activity. Another batch of moisture moves in on Thursday. It's not going to last all day, though, fortunately. Even into Friday, we just see a few clouds lingering. The weekend looking pretty nice back into the 60s, in fact, up to 60s by Sunday. Idaho Falls seeing a similar pattern. We'll be in those uh, mid 50s for much of the week with showers today and again on Thursday. And then Sunday, 64 for your high Teton area. Again, a little bit uh, more chances of a, a shower on Wednesday as they linger between storm systems. Otherwise, more showers moving on Thursday. And then we get a break for the weekend and even heading into next week.